The next speaker is Sara Garcia Alonso, the Seafaring Mechanism of Resistance in Breast Cancer. I bet that all of you know someone who has suffered breast cancer somehow. And this is because cancer affects all of us, especially the ones that defeat our most effective medical treatments. I want you to picture this. A woman who has been fighting against breast cancer for a long time, but finds out that the tumor has come back again because it has become resistant. This is a very dramatic and discouraging situation. With my research, I want to understand why is this happening in order to revert it. We can think of these aggressive and drug-resistant forms of cancer as kind of supervillains. They are extremely adaptable, are very good survivors, so we need a powerful mode to attack. The most effective weapon we have for treating her to positive breast cancer is TDN1. TDN1 is a complex molecule formed by two parts an antibody that is specifically recognizes cancer cells and attach to it a potent toxic with the ability to kill cells from the inside. Our weapon is going to find cancer cells which swallow up the drug in a process called endocytosis. Once inside, TDN1 moves until the cell stomach, the lysosome. This organelle also has an acid pH and is equipped with enzymes, a kind of scissors that degrade the antibody part. Thus, the toxic is released to the bloodstream of the cell, the cytoplasm, the, where it breaks the proliferation machinery of our villain, causing its death. What I have found out is that cancer cells that become resistant have acquired a new superpower, an increased lysosomal pH. This alteration inactivates the enzymes responsible of the toxic release, so TDN1 cannot execute its antitumoral action. Okay. Now we have understood why the resistance emerges, we know how to revert it, because what we got here is a ticking time bomb inside the villain. And restoring the pH, we can make it explode, eliminating the tumor. You know, recently I met a group of brave women who shared their experience with breast cancer in a book entitled As High as a Cypress. They have been fundraising for the Cancer Research Center where I work because they consider that research is crucial to solve this global issue. This act of kindness really touched me and made me understand that we are a community in which every individual is integral for success, from those women who share their experience to help others to come through, to the researcher who tried to join up the dots, all together make up a part of the super weapon that will destroy cancer for good, because all of us are the superheroes of this story. Thank you.